Alrighty, hello, and this is a Heroes of the Storm replay. Uh, I had a good game the other day, and I feel like, hey, let's do a Heroes of the Storm video. And more importantly, uh, the beta is open, and it seems like people are being invited in much larger droves in the alpha. A lot of a lot of Heroes videos during the alpha have the common complaint of, why are you bothering to do this? You're just taunting us because no one's getting in this thing. Well, it's out. It's a MOBA, and it is the board game of MOBAs. So we'll discuss that. I am playing Sonya the Barbarian from Diablo 3. My team is composed of Illidan, Sergeant Hammer, who's the sea tank from StarCraft. Uh, we have Vala and Thrall. They have Chen, Uther, uh, Malfurion, Zagara, and uh, Janna. So right now, the early objective on this map, which is the Haunted Mines, is to capture these vision points. Uh, this will give vision in a circle. And basically, each team has one that they favor. After that, it's kind of like a standstill about who is going to try and invade the other person's vision first. And I'm pretty sure they bite the bullet first. We'll see what happens. Oh, yep, Malfurion is going out. Vala has something to say about that. Thrall tries to land a stun. I'm going in myself. Can I land my hook? Nope. And uh, he manages to land his little root. We do manage to capture the vision point, and people need to get to lanes. Now, there is no last hitting in this game, so the main mechanic is soaking experience. As long as you're near experience, or one person's near experience. Oh, we got a little bit of fight here. We're all jumping on Chen, trying to chase him down. Uh, we push him off the minion wave. Anyway, if you're near a minion when it dies, your team gets experience. So being in all the lanes is really important in this. And getting kills is important because you want your team to level up quicker than the enemy team. So right now, before the mini game starts of collecting uh, skulls, the job is to harass the enemy and do your best to get them out of lane in time to collect the skulls. Now, I like Sonya. Oh, Chen's moving in. We managed to land a stun, landing much damage we can. Sergeant Hammer is shooting and shooting and shooting. Our main goal right now is to try and land enough harasser that they are out of lane before the minigame starts. Now, something I like about Sonya, and I took her skill where auto attacks basically give you uh, spell vamp. And what I'm trying to do right here is land just enough auto attacks to just stay in lane forever because I have no mana issues. And our Illidan is doing his best not to die. So I'm going to be mixing my spin to win, which heals you up, as well as auto attacks, just to stay at full health and be super annoying. Because their towers have ammo. So if we can knock out one of their towers before the minigame, that would be great for us. Because everyone's going to be down in the mines, and minion waves pushing against their towers are going to be better than anything. Again, I'm not really caring about harass. I just want to do as much damage as I can while Sergeant Hammer lands harass as well. Uh, in bot lane, it looks like it's a pretty fair fight as well. Everyone is going into the mines, so we'll follow people. Blue team got down there first. Um, we managed to kill Uther. But that's less important than being down here and seeing people take my, uh, take skeletons. If you play this thing, that is super important. Now, we're all going down, and we're going to do our best to collect skulls. Now, after you're done collecting skulls, it'll summon a giant golem. And that's basically the main gimmick of this. Now, everyone's kind of split around. Vala seems to have caught him off guard. And... Uh, the main give and take of this map, oh wow, he is really going to eat it, is not to get too caught up on fighting, is you still want to make sure that you have more skulls than your opponent when all is said and done. What I've seen a lot recently in this is that people will do 4v5s, and while the 4v5 is going on, the uh, team that only brought four to the fight, that fifth person is running down, getting skulls, and they're going to win the game. Fortunately, we managed to just crush this team fight and are chasing down Zagara. Uh, she's just doing her best to try and make us forget about this thing. Uh, fortunately, Vala and myself are not falling for it. I miss another epic hook. Take a drink. And we're going to do our best to start this off. Chen, uh, I think he's just going to do his best to debate jumping in and taking things down. Those purple things are really important. They regen for the whole team. They also give mana, which is really good for these kind of situations. You don't want to be in the green circle because that'll stun you. Now what the enemy team is going to want to do is when we take this thing out, it just vomits skulls. And they can actually steal and take all the work. So this is going really good for us. We got yet another kill, and we managed to get a 70 to 30. Now we're all basing at this point, um, and we're going to want to push with our golem, which is going to push across the top wave. Uh, Vala is doing her best to defend this. Now, I am picking the jungle creeps because I want the siege minions to be running it around the bottom and kind of fight off their golem that's going to be coming at us. Uh, if you're not familiar with this game, unlike LOL, you do get experience for hunting jungle creeps, but there's no buff. The jungle creeps just spawn in your lane. And they come be kind of like early super minions in that way. 
how to actually uh, appropriately manage them, all that kind of stuff, is a topic uh, for people who are better at the game. So here's our golem, nice and big. Enemy golem, itty bitty. Ours got these big beastly uh, gems. So right now we've caught Uther out of bounds. I managed to finally land a hook. Now this is good for us because we are landing a ton of harass and our golem. Oh wow, they already lost that tower, so our golem is going to be able to land a bunch of damage. Oh, they managed to capture the mid creep. So right now I'm trying to take it out, and Vala is trying to do her best to protect our towers as well. Now that that's down, we can go in. And I think land a whole bunch of damage on this. Now, one of our main goals is to take down this fountain. Other than basing, that's the only way they can heal and restore mana in lane. Uh, Janna seems to be oh, slowed, and I managed to land a hook because she was rooted by the golem. Golems can stun, they can root, they're very dangerous, so you need to make sure to avoid it. Meanwhile, in bot lane, Vala and Thrall are doing their best to land as much harass as possible and protect our base. But we are doing a hard push up here. We managed to kill Uther again. Is yes, this is... Um, our specialist, an assassin, and a warrior versus two supports and a golem. So it's not going to go well for them. Oof. Illidan's trying to make a point there. Uh, so we continue to move in. Uh, Sergeant Hammer does bonus damage against buildings. I'm just trying to spin to win. I want to just take out this wall. Because I'm pretty sure, yeah, their golem is already dead. So everything we can do right now where our golem is still at a, like a third health is cake. Normally you don't really get to go this far. You'll just get a base with the enemy team. Oh man, ah, my Sonia ult uh, allows me to jump in and land a stun. It is targeted. It's basically Jarvan's ult if you're familiar with League of Legends. Our golem's going after the fort. I want to get this so they can't heal. And Illidan is healing off the wall. Yeah, you can punch things to heal as long as you have spell bam. And we're going to do our best to try and take out this fort while uh, the bot is not returning whatsoever and Thrawn Ball are doing a great job of fighting them off. We've taken out a fort. Janus trying to be a hero, landing a little bit of harass on me. I want to leave, but Illidan still wants to be in there. And I notice the Sergeant Hammer don't want to leave her alone, so I jump back in, do some spin damage. We take out Janna. Sergeant Hammer just landing a whole bunch of damage. I managed to get a kill on Malfurion. Yet again, supports and mages versus assassins and warriors and a tank. Uh, do we stay? We should. Because we've already managed to do our thing. Someone's calling the retreat ping. I'm pinging down on their siege camp. I mainly want to deny it to them. We're not really going to be able to protect it. But in my mind, uh, even though it'll give them some experience, if we can keep this out of our top lane, uh, we don't want them to have any advantages pushing now that super minions are going to start spawning. You can see the catapult that has been spawned. Now I'm going to do my best to try and protect these things because they're going to land solid harass on their secondary gate even though their first gate is still open. And Vala is just trying to be as annoying as crap. Land another hook, I'm finally landing hooks. Building up my rage meter. I want to defend these things, but unfortunately Zagara is confusing them. She's dropping roaches and hydralis on them, and the siege minions are unfortunately confused and attacking the Zerg instead of the wall. Illidan manages to take out the uh, the gate on their base, staying, you know, as hype as possible. And I want to land a thing on Chen. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure I'm going to bait our team into a really bad fight. We'll see what happens. Illidan comes in, taking a whole bunch of damage, and he is taken out by uh, Janna's AoE. Thrall lands a great stun. We get a kill on Zagara. We should really disengage right now because the mines are opening in 20 seconds. But I got the blood in my eyes. We killed Shen. And we keep going in. Oh, man. No, this is not good. We should be uh, pulling back because the mines are opening, and the mines are more important. I'm doing my best to heal off of the wall. Is that how I roll? Let's see if I get greedy for the hooks. I do land a hook on Janna, land a little bit of harass. Now the reason you want to take out the walls, the walls actually grant vision. They don't grant experience, but if you take them out, it is less vision for the enemy team. Thrall's man moaning it while I just try to take out this fountain. And uh, let's see if I can get away. Uther's on me, Malfurion is on me. I really, if I die and Sergeant Hammer gets away, I've done my job. At least that's what I'm going to claim. Meanwhile, the mines have opened, and Vala, hero of heroes, is running around. We already have 19 skulls before they're even debating entering the mines. Illidan is up top as well, collecting skulls. Blue team, however, has come together in a unified five while two of us are dead and are doing their best to collect skulls. We are still way ahead of them. Looks like a fight's going to break out mid. Vala's landing harass on the Janna. Sergeant Hammer is there as well. Oh, that Janna is toast. Toast, Vala using her AoE ultimate uh, that lands a stun. 
Illidan, unfortunately, is in a 2v1, and I don't think that's going to land out well for him. Oh, but the team is coming together. Will that Zagara escape? Nope, she is down. Oh, but as she goes down, she lands a Nidus Canal, making it, instead of a 3v3, a 1v3. Sergeant Hammer's trying to run away. Doing her best. Oh, no, she sieges up instead of running. And a barrel roll. On, uh, good for us. Uh, I have respawned, and I think uh, whoever else was dead is also respawned. So we're going to try and get there as soon as possible. Thrall land some damage. Vol is doing her best to keep people out. I've showed up way too late to this party. Uh, more heroes are being slayed outside. Yeah, so they're basically all dead. And because I can't do nothing, I'm going to run and start the golem. I can't really do much on my own, but I think my main man Thrall is going to come in here, try to avoid the stun, run away. Uh, Vala does gain a movement speed buff after she uses an ability, so... I should be trying to time my abilities with when it's going to do the stun so I can dance in and out. We do see Janna is entering the, uh, the cave. I don't see that on the map. Or maybe I did. So I think you might actually have full vision of the cave. And the main goal we have right here is even if I die, I just want to get all the skulls so she can't scum our skulls. And die I do. However, Thrall, oh, that's the Zonia Zauri last equivalent, uh, does manage to take out Janna. Can he take out uh, Zagar as well? It appears he can. Thrall OP. And meanwhile, Illidan, fortunately, is managing to cap these mercenary camps so that they will fight against their itty-bitty golem. This is 19 to 81, and our golem is going to spawn in their base. Um, an idea worth doing right here is because their golem is only a 19, we really should be pushing as 5 with our 81 golem because it is just going to ignore everything and try to attack their nexus. However, I think we group as 5 and just take out theirs real quick. Not that I have a say in it because I'm totally dead right now. So right now our golem is just being fought 1v4. And our team is kind of ignoring the golem situation. Sergeant Hammer is doing her best to pound away at that base. And we have already taken another golem. Our golem is just being a nuisance. It still hasn't uh, broken through the shield on the enemy core. Uh, we might kill... Yep, we got Uther. So it is a 5v4. And there's still... Oh, right, look, it is actually landing damage on the core. We're deciding to take out the rest of the enemy encampments. We want to be just flooding them with super minions. Oh, man, and as we arrive... Uh, that is when our golem finally goes down. So we'll see how we do here. We do have the two siege uh, jungle creeps to, on our side. So really all we need to do right now is protect Sergeant Hammer and the two creeps. If we are not aggressive, we win. I'm on the wrong side of the wall, taking a little bit of tower harass. Janna's doing her best to try and land damage. Oof, Vala whiffs her stun, which is super bad for us. But again... Play it safe, we win the game. I jump in and land a two-man stun with no help whatsoever. Who will be baited into helping me? I do manage to take out the fountain. That's a that's an okay thing. And then I uh, die unceremoniously. One before Thrall lands a great disengage stun. We do take out their nexus. Or not their nexus, but we do take out their fort. Super minions will be spawning. Sergeant Hammer is officially boned. And we've managed to lose uh, two for one in that engagement, but they've lost almost all their base encampments. They're going to get super minions flooding in every way, and our team is running off and capturing jungle creeps. Um, unfortunately, if we don't go with the jungle creeps, they're as good as dead. We might as well just be saying, hey, have a level and a half of experience, which uh, we'll, we'll watch. Uh, I don't think anybody's going to do anything. We're not going to jump back in. It is a 3v5 at this point. Oh, Thrall is babysitting the siege camp, so that's good. Or the Bruiser Camp, as they are called. Thrall, unfortunately, is engaged in a 3v1. No one is going to go help him. It has now become a 4v1 as Thrall is struggling to get away. No one is doing anything. Ah, but he is now officially baiting. Because uh, Illidan is now going alone. Vala has abandoned him. So the bait is now officially a bad call. And Thrall has died for a 50-second death timer. Right in time for the, uh, the cave to open again in 18 seconds. So this is this is more like what it looks like to play uh, Heroes of the Storm. We have Illidan pinging the bottom. Uh, let's see what I do. Will I be smart? Nine seconds. Oh, I ping the, the creeps. I thought it was all smart because I noticed, hey guys, look, this thing spawns in eight seconds. We should totally get it. Ignoring the fact that uh, the very important uh, lower 
area of the map has opened up. Um, though, I do have the good idea of, like, let's not walk in where all the blue team is. So Sergeant Hammer and I are going to do our best to run top so that we can actually have a team fight against the enemy, who are right now three strong. So it is technically a 3v3 if we all group. Illidan has been caught off guard by Malfurion, manages to blink away. I jump in, ha ha! Land a two-man stun, but we're getting barrel rolled out of the way. Volum manages to land her stun, but we're not really cooperating. Now, Uther lands a great stun on me and Illidan, and we have been frozen by Janna. Sergeant Hammer is trying to do some damage. It's now a 5v5, unfortunately. Oh, what a great night of Scanal. It is now a 1v4 while well, we are trapped away. And we do not have a consensus on who we want to be fighting. I'm trying to land as much spin to win damage as I can. I'm taken down. Sergeant Hammer's trying to run. She is also dead. And Illidan has GTFO'd like the best of him. He was not prepared. I was not prepared. And now Thrall, Mr. Pink Box, is debating just leaving. Uh, we did manage to get uh, 35 skulls, so that's okay. Thrall's been caught off guard. He's debating on what to do. He manages, he manages to land a stun. He can maybe murder this Janna. He is ridiculously going after this Janna. He has killed Janna. So now, at best, it is now a 2v1. Uh, and heroes will be responding. It will be, at best, a 3v... No, it's going to be a 4v4. With with the dust spawners, uh, but I think at this point I wasn't paying attention. I think Vala called for us all to just push the core. We have super minions, uh, caddy, caddies got them caddies going down both of the lanes. Yeah, Vala making the right call. All group, <laughs> two lane map, but somehow we all need to group mid. Playing the League of Legends once again. Uh, it's the right call to make right here. It doesn't matter uh, what their golem is going to be we could give them a hundred point golem it needs to start there and work its all the way over and we're just going to push their core even better news for us Malfurion tries to join his team in the bot gets caught out by Vala I land a chain Vala lands the kill it is now going to be a 4v4 5v5 since Thrall is up in a minute unfortunately right now Illidan has decided to dive alone but if you want to let's 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 be positive let's be posy even though he's being brutally murdered right now, he is distracting them from trying to kill. I move in, manage to land another kill on Janna, who seems mad squishy right now. And uh, we are distracted. These things are safe. That caddy is safe. Hammer is safe. We are doing our job. Nidus Canal whiffs. And it is just going to stay a good thing. Vala is face tanking the Nexus core. And I'm just getting bopped around by barrel roll. They're not killing the siege minions. Thrall is here, I am here, spin to win, and that is a game of heroes, my friend, where I have magically somehow won a game of heroes. Doesn't happen often, I spin to win forever. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, there's a billion ways to get beta access. If you want to goof your version of a MOBA, try it out. See you later, guys.